Hi folks, so it's Reverend Isaac here. Hope that you folks are all doing well. This Sunday is Christian Family Sunday. It's also Mother's Day Sunday. And I think for a lot of us, uh, it's gonna be really different than anything we've ever experienced before because we can't be together with our Christian family in the same way and can't be with our biological family a lot of the time for many of us. And we wanna be able to get up and put our ties on and our fancy clothes and go to church but it's a bit different right now. A lot of you folks know that I have a tradition on uh, on Mother's Day Sunday of going for my first swim of the year. Actually, why don't we take a look at the clip from last year? <laughs> I'm definitely feeling sad that I'm not going to be able to go for my uh, regular swim because most of the beaches are closed. At the same time though, even though a lot of us are experiencing these stumbling blocks of not being able to do the things that we would normally be able to do, uh, I think that there's also really an opportunity to move beyond the sense of it just being a stumbling block. Uh, here's what I mean. If you look at our scripture story for this uh, this week from the first letter of Peter, he uses imagery that some people might have seen as a stumbling block, uh, imagery for God. He describes God as kind of like a nursing mother. And for some people in that time who were used to really male language of God, uh, that might have been pretty scary and a bit of a stumbling block for them. And yet we see in these new Christian communities that there is always this looking for something different, a new way of seeing God and a new way of seeing how we can be together as a people of faith. What Peter reminds us in that passage is that um, we're called together to, as a Christian family to be built together around Christ. Sometimes Christ uh, and Christ's teachings can feel like a bit of a stumbling block, but when we stop and try and reevaluate things, sometimes Christ can be more like the cornerstone on which we are all built. And as we move together uh, into the future, we have a sense that we're still being built together around that cornerstone that is Christ. Now, uh, this past week, I saw something really cool on Facebook. One of our younger members of our congregation, when she found out she wasn't going to be able to go to the YMCA for a swim, she decided that she was just going to have a swim in her bathtub and have a fun time that way. I think that's great, being creative and seeing these situations not only just as stumbling blocks. They can be hard. Let's not ignore the, the, the hardships of these different realities but we can also see them potentially as cornerstones, as places of building in new ways in our lives. So you know what, folks, it's true. I I'm not gonna be able to go for my Mother's Day swim probably at the beaches that I normally like, but I'm still gonna be doing uh, something that I think will still uh, get me to the place where I, I wanna be able to be anyways. I've got my frozen bubble bath right here. And, and I'm still going to be able to enjoy this day. And I hope that you folks uh, can too. Uh, there are stumbling blocks that are there, but we also have the chance to build new traditions. And uh, in, that, uh, in that light, I want to be able to say uh, Happy Mother's Day, Mom, but also Happy Christian Family Sunday to all of you folks in my church family. And God bless. See you soon. God, you who are mother to us, help us grow into new life. Bless all the mothers, biological, adoptive, step and foster, any and all who we claim as mom. God, you who are father to us, form us into a spiritual home. Bless all the fathers, biological, adoptive, step and foster any and all who we claim as dad. God, you who are sibling to us, see us as chosen through our brother Jesus. Bless those related to us by blood and bless to all our sisters from other misters and all our brothers from other mothers. God, you who are Christ's child to us, allow us to taste and see that you are good. Bless all the children, grandchildren, nephews, nieces, students, and every child 
who you have called us to nurture. God, you who are family to us, in your mercy make us all your people. Bless spouses, grandparents, cousins, aunts and uncles, and our whole church family. Lead us together to your marvelous light. Amen.